So I'm starting my brows today and I'm going to use some new Benefit products. Bravo is a conditioning primer so it helps to condition your brows, make the product go on smoother and last longer. And then it also helps to make them appear fuller after four weeks. You have to use it every single day for 21 days. So the brow gods have answered all of our prayers and Cabral. This is my favorite. Like Cabral could not wait for this. Bomb. So the brush is on here. You just take it like this, put it in there. Boom. Yes! Literally look at this. Perfect benefit. Perfect. Ooh, watch out, Anastasia. Benefit's changing the game. By the way, this is the first time using this on my eyebrows. my brows have never looked so freaking good. So now I'm just filling them in. And my brows are super sparse in the front, so I'm just gonna flick and flick and flick and flick and flick to make it look like natural hairs. And then my my front hair is going to grow this way, so I'm going to go lick some on that way. The brush on this is very precise. Now I'm just going to use this leftover concealer for my eyeshadow base. And then I'm going to set it on the shade and light palette from Kat Von D. I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush. Just a skin tone shade. You can even use your face powder if you want to. Just so it doesn't crease. Today for the eyes, I'm gonna do an Oregon Ducks inspired look. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you know why I'm doing this. And if you're not, you better go follow me. I'm gonna take this fluffy M218 by Morphe. This lighter color right here. This is the Morphe 35C palette. And I want to use this fluffy brush. That way it's super blended. So I'm taking this color from the outer corner to the inner corner. You just want to keep going back and forth to make sure that it is all blended out. Next, I'm going to take this um, lime green color from the electric palette. I'm going to place this just a little higher than where we placed that lighter green color. That way it's just a nice gradient to a lime green. 
I am using the same brush. And you want to make sure you get this in your corner right here really good. So now I'm going to use my um, Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass palette. And I'm going to take the Hatter Color on a MAC 219 pencil brush. It's going to focus it right into the crease. I'm going to take that same fluffy brush and just blend it out. You just want to keep the center blank. You don't want to add any color to it yet. I'm going to add these two shades to the crease as well. Alright, so now on to the eyelid. What I'm going to do is start with that same lime green color and kind of bring it on the inner, on the inner part of this. Kind of blend it out. First I'm going to take the NYX eyeshadow base in white. That way it makes the yellow stand out more. Then I'm going to take this yellow color from the 35C palette and right on top. You just want to blend it out on the edges to make sure there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going to take some more of that darker green and just darken up the crease. Taking that same fluffy brush and just blending it out. Your illuminating primer. If you haven't used this, it is really nice. It just helps to get that glow and it keeps your makeup on all day. And it feels really hydrating. Use the Benefit Erase Paste and then just tap that underneath.
and then kind of into my inner corner. And this is just going to help to brighten and color correct any blue tones. So I'm going to mix my NARS foundation with my Smashbox foundation. And just apply it. So I just always press instead of swap, but then when I get here to the neck, I just kind of swirl it. Just make sure it's blended down the neck and there's not any harsh line. And then just take your leftover and if you have any areas you want more coverage, just add more. The LA Pro Conceal Concealer and this is the shade Porcelain. And then all the way up to there. Today I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder to bake with. I don't usually do this, but we're going to try it out. So we're going to leave that there for about five minutes. While that is baking, we're going to contour. I'm going to use the Benefit Hula Bronzer to contour with. We're just going to go right above this line right here. So I'm feeling pretty baked. So I'm just gonna dust it all off. Use the Color pop between the sheets blush, and I'm going to use it on the Sigma F15. You kind of want to connect it all so it kind of makes that circular look. So now I'm just going to do winged liner. I'm going to use the Inglot 77 liner.
This is what it looks like with the lashes. Then you want to add mascara to the bottom lashes. Alright, so we're going to spray our face with a little bit of Urban Decay Setting Spray. This is the All Nighter. Mm, yes! Just smells so good. After we have sprayed our face with some Setting Spray, we're also going to spray our brush. This is the Morphe M176. We're going to use our Benefit What's Up Highlighter. Now I'm going to use the Pure Minerals Afterglow Powder and apply it right over the Benefit What's Up. Look at that. And I just do it in like a half moon shape. And then just going over these last two places where you put the What's Up. When we're done with that, we're going to move on to lips. and. To kind of tie this look together, I'm going to use a black lipstick. This is the Lip Couture Waterproof Liquid Lipstick in the shade Venom. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what team you want to see next. Any comments below and, and I will definitely do it. All you gotta do is ask.